<coughs> God bless, amen, fire and ice. A little bit tired today. I feel like I haven't had that much sleep. I don't know how many people you've heard talk about this. But maybe the media will start talking about it, but I doubt it. Because remember, it's only followed, they're only going by whatever narrative they're followed by, as in whatever narrative they have to preach and teach on, and be the messengers, the vessels on. That's the message that they're going to preach on. And if they try to go against it, obviously they'll lose their jobs or something. Same with our military. But saying that the message that I'm getting into is talking about the thing, the recent thing that happened in Las Vegas just now about the um, the UFOs and the 911 call. It was it was the cam video that actually came out before the 911 call, and then the 911 call came out and said they had reported seeing those creatures that were like nine. 12 feet tall and in some cases I think some of them said they were up to 15 feet tall creatures non-human now remember back in the day where if you even spoke more about like aliens you were considered the crazy person now aliens exist they've already confirmed it we're not even we're not alone in the universe anymore we're not and so now Pentagon, everything else has already confirmed this, so, which, honestly, all this stuff is uh, gonna go to the media, like, more and more, so it's, you know, obviously, more things that get pushed and more prevalent, you know, you're already conditioned to not just believe it, but you know it, so the knowing goes past just the believing. It goes past it. The uh, the thing that I'm getting into is with <clears throat> the UFO phenomenon is just going to increase and get more and more. So something's going to happen where you know you've heard this saying I know where like the UFO phenomenon is in case for when the rapture comes that will say it was UFOs. Well, I could say yes, but on the other hand and on the other side of that is that you ever heard, you've been hearing the uh, the stories about the different principalities of the different races, like the gray race, alien race, and um, what comes from the Nordic and Greek mythology, you're talking about the blonde haired, blue eyed beings, well... If these beings come along and see, you could say gray aliens, no, like, people wouldn't be stupid enough to believe, you know, that we should follow that race. But what about a race, like a hybrid race that could come along and they could save us from these gray race aliens or these alien beings that are the malevolent ones. And so the blonde hair, blue eyed hybrid race, or you can go ahead and say it's a hybrid gray race, whatever you want to call it. But they're more on the lines of the blonde hair, blue-eyed race look more prevalent, and they're more prevalent to look like us. We're obviously, as a race, as dumbed down, easily manipulated race of homo sapiens or whatever, we'll follow them. Because they're going to be presented as the ones that come down and save us. Follow, and they're followed by, following, following behind the Antichrist. And uh, this Apollo or this Apollyon in the book of Revelation as like the head honcho or the head angel over the rest of them. We follow them. They've just saved us. They're the heroes. And so now it's just like everybody's secretly, secretly really looking for a savior. And they'll never admit it. They'll never say it. But they're secretly, they're, we're looking for something because when di- division gets worse, all hell breaks loose even worse. UFOs get worse. All this stuff, we're going to be looking for a savior. And when these events do occur, they will follow. We will follow. If we build it or if they build it, we will come. If we build it, they will come. Who are they? Blonde-haired, blue-eyed race. 
the hybrid race. One third of the fallen angels that are going to betray all of humanity to the pit, to outer darkness. Because they betray God, they're still portraying God, and they want us to follow along. So when so many of us go to hell, they will be, human beings will be tortured more than they will, and that's exactly what they want. Because they know that they can never have our spots again. And there is no hope for them. So they want to use as much deception as they can to take us down to the pit with them. And whoever follows, follows. So, God bless. Amen. Fire and ice. Godspeed out.